this one we're gonna format our drives like let's say you have a USB drive or an external hard drive or any kind of partition that you want to format now for this example we're gonna format to NTFS alright so you need some packages to install open your synaptic right? and you want to search for gparted and install this package gparted and you want to search for NTFS probes also install this one this handles NTFS and you get those two packaged and you're done with that right now for your your drives um, if you have a USB stick just plug it in and it should mount right like all these are my drives but you make sure you, the one that you want to uh, format uh, make sure it's unmounted right so you want to right click on it and it says unmount and now it's unmounted you see a white icon right so we've done that now we go to our systems and administrations and go down to partition editor and this is our G parted that we just installed and it's scanning for our drives and it should take a few minutes okay it's done now this is the important part so you don't want to fuck this up uh, it's the easy part too and uh, you know if you mess it up you're gonna lose all your files see these are all my drives right make sure you select the right one if you select the wrong one and you format it you gonna lose all your files that's just simple as that just check um, the drives that you, you want just remember not to get the wrong one all right so my drive is here it's one gigabyte right so I select that and you can see it's uh, currently a fat 32 I mean fat 16 um, partition now I want to uh, format to NTFS so all I gotta do is right click on it and go down to format too right? and these two are um, Linux partition these are the old school fat partition but it's limited so you don't want to use that NTFS is good because um, you know you, you can save a big file like uh, more than four gigs and because they have a limit in uh, FAT32 and stuff so NTFS is good you know, so we're going to choose that and after we choose that <laughs> click on apply up top here All right? and it says do you agree okay yes we do bitch apply and it's doing its job and it's done so we close and now it's updating so you wait till it updates and that's it we're done see it's NTFS now now the reason for you doing NTFS is because um, you won't have the restriction of the you know uh, 4 gigs uh, a file if your file is like over 4 gigs um, FAT32 is not good for you although FAT32 is um, you know any computer can read that I think so the only reason for uh, NTFS is because if you have a USB stick and um, you go you know you usually put in your keychain or something and you go to another computer chances are the other computer is going to be Windows and if it's on Windows they can only read their own shit they cannot read Linux shit so that's why you want to use uh, NTFS uh, mainly because you have a large file and you want to be compatible with Windows. That's the only two uh, reasons that you should use this. That's all. And that's how you do it. If you want to convert to, uh, uh, or you want to format to another partition, you could. But it's the same process. So that's it.